I'm going to be breaking down the numbers on a for sale by owner that my out-of-state investor clients are considering purchasing. Bob and Erica, this is your show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. This is the show on Holton Wise TV where I work with you. You work with me and my team one-on-one uh, to assist you guys with your real estate portfolio, right? And, uh, you know, it's the MLS Search and Analysis Show because you tell me what you want, and I go out there and I search the MLS and I try to find it for you, right? There's 5,000 other realtors out, out here in the Cleveland market besides myself, right? So we, we take your criteria and we try to match you with the right property. In addition to that, though, I'll look at any deal you have, right? If you found deals through other sources, uh, bank tapes, wholesalers, for sale by owners, I I will analyze those for you, right? So you know you're making a, a good decision, right? Give you pure unbiased advice. And that's what I'm doing for my clients, Bob and Erica. Bob and Erica, uh, they purchased a 10 property package for me. This is the 10th property I've looked at for them. They actually found this one, okay? This is a for sale by owner. One seven, let me pull it up on the screen. Now it's, it's gonna look a little different than the normal shows, right guys? Cause it's a for sale by owner, right? So you don't see the fancy MLS chart. You just see uh, a Zillow link, okay? 17915 Harvard Avenue, Cleveland, Ohio, 44128. Now the first thing, right? Let's talk about the neighborhood. This is an east side neighborhood. It's, it's, it's near some nice areas. It's near Highland Heights. It's near Shaker Heights. I would position this as probably a D to C neighborhood, okay? So when you guys are looking at this investment property, understand you're going to be dealing with D and C class type tenants, right? So Section 8, I think, is incredibly important on an investment like this. As far as the rents, you guys had stated that the uh, owner, you've already talked to him, private party owner, no real estate agents involved. We have two units, two ones. Uh, he is renting one of those for six ninety eight, and he told you the second unit would be worth about the same. And I agree, right? I agree. The other unit is probably worth about seven hundred, right? So thirteen ninety eight in rent, or sixteen thousand seven hundred seventy six a year is what I anticipate coming in out of this property. As far as uh, this guy's tenant, I, you didn't give me any info on whether or not he is Section Eight. Um, I don't know if he is, but I think the tenant you guys put into your other into the other unit, if you guys are to move forward with this purchase, I definitely think you want to go Section 8, right? Because the numbers, we're going to go through them. The numbers are going to look great on this particular property. The rents are going to be high. But the issue with properties like this is you got to worry about, uh, you know, folks losing their job or losing their income and getting evicted and then, you know, possible vandalism when there is uh, vacant units. So we do the Section 8 program in higher risk properties to alleviate those issues, right? right? The unit's probably not going vacant because you're probably not evicting the tenant because they're probably not missing a rent payment. Why? Because it's guaranteed by the government, right? And the property itself is pretty nice, right? Nice a brick duplex, okay? I like that. You know, just a nice, well-built building, okay? Looking pretty good. Now, as far as the interior, I, I think you could more or less pick this up without any reno but it is dated like this bathroom i think this is fine right like this appears to be freshly done this one piece you know this is looking good that's a nice setup right there it doesn't look too dated the floor i mean that's all doable that's all fresh i like what's going on here but the kitchens leave something to be desired like this this bedroom this is totally cool if you want to like harden the unit a little bit more might be a bad uh, not be a bad idea to remove the ceiling fan whenever tenants can have hang on stuff they usually will and uh it'll get broken but you know i like the bathroom i like what the rooms are looking like that's all pretty fly um what i think is missing though a little bit of wow factor is the bathroom or i mean i'm sorry the kitchen rather right like this flooring could be okay but i mean dude this is like pretty cheap half-ass done flooring like if you look you got the uh the transition strip 
It's it's literally in the middle of the room, okay? So like from the picture, it might not have looked that jacked up to you, but you do have a tran transition strip right in the middle of your room. So that actually there's another one. I didn't even notice that one. It's hard to see. I don't know if you guys could see on the TV, but there's another transition strip right here. That's kind of messed up to have two transition strips in the middle of the kitchen, okay? As far as the cabinets go, like the colors and stuff are fine, but we still, this is old. This is the original cabinetry, right? They did go in and they put a little backsplash, but things I dislike, like I don't like seeing uh, these like little curvy things or whatever you want to call it, like this work on the wood. That's very unmodern. This is completely old school. You know, these things... They're rough. Uh, like the tenants don't really like them. They're usually rusty and they squeak when you you open them up. So, if you wanted, I think the unit looks decent enough where you could try to just go ahead and see if you can't get a Section 8 tenant in there at 700. But if you're having trouble doing that, you might not. Uh, it might not be a bad idea for you guys to drop 10 grand. Okay, just drop that 10 grand right in the kitchen, dude. Rip out these old cabinets. Get brand new Home Depot Lowe's quality cabinetry. Uh, replace that floor with a, a proper done, a proper done, properly done, professionally installed vinyl floor. Right, no transition strips in the middle of it. Okay, so that is what I think you should do. As far as price goes, this dude is asking uh, $60,000 for this thing. I think you guys would be apt uh, to pay fifty. dollars I think fifty dollars is a good price given that you may or may not want to do renovations. If you bought it at fifty, dollars okay, and we're able to bring in that $1,398 in rent, I anticipate, you know, assuming we got Section 8 tenants in there for the long haul, right? I know right now that one tenant's not Section 8, uh, but just long haul estimates, 1398 comes in, 719 goes out, 679, I believe, to be your average uh, NOI for this property. And you two, you guys are... You guys are long-time investors, right? You got a portfolio here in Cleveland. You got properties in other states. You guys kind of understand this. I think you're really looking to me uh, to give you my perspective on the neighborhood, right? Because you guys know real estate. You guys know rental real estate. You know tenants. You know how that stuff goes, right? What you don't have a super keen understanding of is the intricacies of the Cleveland market because you don't live here in Cleveland, hence what I'm here for. So um, I think that's that's more than fair 50 G's, if you if you were able to get the tenant in there, not spend that 10 grand, you're looking at a 16.3 cap. And if you financed it, it's a 50% cash on cash return. Now, of course, if that doesn't pencil out that way and you do decide to go in and do the $10,000 kitchen renovation, that's going to make your cap go down and it's going to make your cash on cash return go down. But still, the numbers are going to be great. The numbers are not what we're worried about here. What we're worried about is the neighborhood. But as far as far as quality of neighborhood, just comparing this to what you two are used to, like for you guys, I have looked at a lot of homes in Maple Heights. I would say this neighborhood is definitely going to be a little bit more risky than Maple Heights, but we've also looked at a lot of properties in the Metro Health area, okay, the Clark Fulton neighborhood, which is on the other side of town. That's on the west side of town. I would say this particular neighborhood is going to provide you with a similar level of risk and performance as that neighborhood. Now, I do not believe there's going to be any major shifts in this neighborhood going forward. I do, of course, believe there are going to be some major shifts going on in that Clark Fulton neighborhood because of the billion-dollar investment that Metro Health is doing, right? This particular neighborhood... I anticipate just kind of chugging along consistently where it's at. So if you're asking uh, me if I if I give the thumbs up on the deal, yeah, I think it's a good deal. The the guy's asking you sixty. If you could pick it up at fifty, I think you're doing great. And I think maybe you try to see if you can't get a Section Eight tenant in there as is. If if that's not working, definitely do those premium upgrades. Definitely increase that. Uh, you know, desirability to that unit. Make sure that kitchen looks good. I mean, I'm, I'm fine with the bath, but, you know, the flooring on that kitchen, I don't like that. I don't like the original cabinetry. So I, I think you're definitely going to be better served to do that 10 Gs. Um, but again, if you want to if you want to try to get a tenant in there before dropping the 10 Gs, I mean, the unit is at least clean, crisp, professional. Uh, you know, you could 
try to do that, right? It presents halfway decent, but, uh, you know, if it were my property, I would probably just go with those upgrades. But again, it can kind of go either way, so I would leave that up to you guys with what you want to do. Now, as far as purchasing this, if you'd like our assistance, we can help you. We can provide you guys with buyer brokered services. Normally, the properties are listed on the MLS, okay? Uh, for everybody that's watching, maybe you don't understand how real estate agents work, how real estate agents get paid, okay? The way real estate works, the way the real estate agent business works, the way everyone gets paid is a seller hires an agent. That agent is called the listing agent, okay? Uh, we're just going to use general numbers. Let's assume a seller hired a listing agent, and he said, hey, mister, uh, you know, I will sell your home for $100,000, and you will pay me 7% or $7,000. Seller's like, fuck yeah, that sounds great, dude. Let's rock it. So, Mr. Listing Agent has a listing, $100,000. He is getting a $7,000 paycheck from this seller when it sells. Then this listing agent goes on what's called the MLS, Multiple Listing Service, and he puts the listing out there, and he says to all the other agents in the market, Hey, motherfuckers, if you sell this property to your buyers, I'm going to give you $3,500, right? So the sellers agreed to pay him seven, and then this person decided, I will pay half of that to everybody else out there that brings me a buyer. And that's typically how a deal gets done, right? The buyer has their own agent who's getting 35. The seller is getting 35. Now, it's not always like that. The commission is not always 7%. The split's not always 50-50. All of that is negotiable. It uh, depends on the deal, right? But that's just in a nutshell how it works. Right now, in this scenario, uh, we have a seller who's doing it for sale by owner. So he has not agreed to pay a listing agent 7%. There's no listing agent who's agreed to pay Holton Wise any percentage. So if you'd like our services, that's cool. We would love to do that, but we got to get paid, dog. So what we're going to be looking for is 3%. So if you would like us to move forward with this deal with you, we're going to need you to pay us 3%. That'll go on the closing statement. So the seller is not going to pay anybody a commission. You would pay us 3%, and that'll just go into your closing costs when everything is settled. And then, of course, we could take over the property management and things of that nature after the fact. The other option is for you to just go directly to this guy, right? It sounds like you've already talked to him. And uh, you can get your own offer written up. You could even have an attorney write up the offer, things of that nature. As far as title work, if you and the seller, you guys work together, right? You can contact Black Tie Title. They'll hook you up. They'll do the closing for you. So we are here for you if you need us. If you want me to be your agent, I can be your agent. If you want me to negotiate with this guy on your behalf, I can do that. I think I'm a pretty good negotiator. If you want me to have my team assist in getting uh, your home inspection scheduled and then going over it with you and then possibly renegotiating with the seller, we can do all of that, right? That's going to be uh, for the price of 3%. Normally in the MLS search and analysis show, you don't have to pay anything for that because the seller has already agreed to pay their listing agent who's already agreed to pay us, right? Now, a for sale by owner situation is a unique situation where nobody's agreed to pay us, so we got to get paid. So, of course, that's going to come out of your pocket, right? But we could do that, right? So we're here if you want us. If you want to do it on your own, that's totally cool. You got all my thoughts on the property. I think it's a solid deal. So it is up to you, Bob and Erica, how you want to proceed thus far. Everybody else, if you've liked this level of service and you think this might work out good for you, you're trying to learn a little bit about the Cleveland market, trying to get involved and uh, do some deals, and you want to make sure that you're not overpaying for properties or doing a bad deal, you want my advice, HoltonWise.com. Property search for sale tab. Click the MLS search and analysis show. Order a package today. I think the big packages, right? Bob and Erica, they did 10 properties with me, right? We can do as little as one. We can do as many as 10 at one time, right? The big packages, different pricing, different levels of service. Check those out. But I think the big packages are the best because it really allows a lot of back and forth and allows me to kind of work with you one-on-one -on -one and teach you the market as we go. And let's face it, not every offer we put out is going to get accepted. There's other buyers trying to buy these properties. And sometimes I think you should pay X, but the seller really wants Y, right? It'd be a great deal at X, but it wouldn't be a great deal at Y. We're trying to extract value from the market, right? So that's what the show's about. If you're trying to invest in real estate, trying to get some serious equity, pick properties up below fair market value, you're going to have to shoot out a lot of offers. You're going to have to analyze a lot of deals. So that's why the big package is very, very popular. So check it out if you like it. If you're just here to watch the show for free and just learn a little bit, that's great. If you're a new viewer, do yourself a solid and smash! 
that subscribe button because Holton Wise TV is real estate investing made easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Over 50% of those living in the greater Memphis area rent their home. This fact combined with the high price to rent ratio is why Forbes rates Memphis, Tennessee as one of the top real estate investment markets in the country. Memphis Investment Properties and their sister property management company, Reedy & Company Realtors, are among the largest and most trusted turnkey operations in this market. With over 30 years in business, a portfolio consisting of more than 2,700 active rentals, and an impeccable track record renovating over 6,000 single-family homes, it's no surprise they are one of the most reputable turnkey operations in the United States. U.S. Reeb is a full-service turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single-family and multi-family investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. The purchase process is seamless, from reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals, U.S. Reeb has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. Reeb is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. For property managers, you get advanced features like simplified owner distributions, automated management and placement fees, an owner portal, plus the software is certified for trust accounting. All this comes backed by the highest rated customer support team in the industry. Certified by third parties and ranked number one by our clients year over year, you get unlimited free access to our U.S.-based support team by phone, email, and chat, who will help you getting started or anywhere along the way. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.